Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back. It is Thursday. It's actually not morning. It's two o'clock now. At home yesterday, I worked the all-nighter. So I worked from like 10, 50 p.m until 6 a.m. the next morning and I got home and I immediately crashed. I was super tired. So I slept most of the day yesterday and today I start another trip, another three day. Thankfully, it's actually a long layover. So I am headed to Raleigh, North Carolina today. We, I'm leaving about probably in the next 45 minutes or so. I just got out of the shower. I'm getting ready now. Just finished packing and stuff. And I'm gonna eat some lunch and then probably drink a Celsius. I'm excited about this layover because it is long. It's 23 hours. I have all day tomorrow when I get there, but I'm working in a another all-nighter. I'm not used to all-nighters. This is new for me. So I'm a little nervous about tonight. So send good vibes. Say hello. DB's working from home per usual. Mavi is being lazy per usual. Say, hey, Mammy. She said Mama's going to be gone. I know we. Mama just loves him so much. Ooh, I'm just getting a little teary-eyed when I leave DB and Mavi. It makes me sad. I just miss them. I haven't had any time really at home. But, of course, like, pros and cons with every job. And I love this job. But I've just been feeling kind of down lately. I feel like every time that I'm home, I'm sleeping most of the time because I've been doing, I've just been doing a lot of like lean overs, all nighters, things like that, which is also rare for me. Just made it to the employee parking lot. My report time is at 4.44 p.m. today and it's about 4.15 so I definitely need to go ahead and go. So we're flying Atlanta to Salt Lake and then Salt Lake to Raleigh, North Carolina. So I think each way it's about three hours and hopefully like 30 to 40 minutes so almost four hour flight but not quite um if everything goes well and we land in raleigh north carolina at 5 a.m tomorrow so i'll land there at 5 a.m tomorrow i'll probably sleep most of the day and then i'll wake up and we'll have a long layover degrees outside but I brought my sweater <laughs> very tough red eye but we made it i'm exhausted i'm gonna go to sleep right now and then i'll check in once i wake up because i've got to get some rest on another note this room is adorable super cute look how pretty it is love this brand this is super nice look how cute this is I've already changed into my PJs. Oh, that's bright. My cute little fly attendant hack. I mean, this isn't my hack, but it's a cute little fly attendant hack. Mm. To cover that sunlight. Because I'm acting like a vampire. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty outside. I'm trying to decide between comfy or like semi cute today. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna be really warm outside. Okay, coffee's ready. And this is my this is where I'm gonna do my makeup this morning. Because of this beautiful natural lighting. I'm gonna do my makeup, drink my coffee, and then my crew has been really awesome. So we're actually meeting up today. All of us are texting in a group text and we're gonna go eat some yummy food. Should be fun. Guess who just rallied, worked an overnight red eye, got in at 6 a.m., 
slept for about six hours, put herself together, getting my stuff together now, and we're gonna go out, walk around, explore, and get some brunch. This is what I'm wearing with my Converse. It's a little jean romper. <laughs> just got back to the hotel and there is a full blown wedding happening right outside my window that is so cute I'm trying to listen they had like a band playing and everything it's hard for me to see it from my window or I'd show you guys but one of my crew members is right next door and she can see it from her window and she just sent us all a video and it's so sweet uh, I just love love. I love weddings. It's so cute. Our band pickup tomorrow is at 3.40. I think it's 3.45 a.m. That's going to be tough. And I don't want to jinx myself, but we're supposed to fly Raleigh to Atlanta, Atlanta to Austin, Austin back to Atlanta. And I got a notification this morning that they canceled the last two legs, Atlanta to Austin, Austin to Atlanta. So hopefully fingers crossed it stays like that and they don't put me on something else because I'm super excited but you know you got to be a palm tree who knows what will happen watching some law and order SVU getting ready for bed it is 9 p.m. now it's I've been doing nothing all day if I'm being honest I'm just I was too tired and too lazy but then I started to feel a little anxious because I was too lazy I don't know if anyone else feels that way but I was like annoyed with myself so I was trying to remember I'm like okay you worked an all-nighter last night you worked until 6 a.m. you're allowed to rest and be lazy I went ahead and laid out my uniform over there I'm gonna go ahead and have it somewhat together hopefully that will close okay I usually try to do like all my clothes on one side and then I have my toiletries over here. This is also a really bad job of me packing, but hey, I'm going home in the morning, so who cares? I checked my schedule earlier, and it's still showing the... It's still showing the last leg was removed, and there's only one leg, and hopefully we'll make it home at like 6.30 a.m., so... Fingers crossed, that's still in my favor. I'm really excited about that. I hope that works out. I'm going on call tomorrow at midnight, so Sunday, technically, um, for three days. And and then I have like tons of trips just back to back. I gotta call DB really quick and tell him good night. And set my alarms for 2.45 a.m. I'm unwell about it. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm getting up that early. Ooh, after working an all-nighter. But I'm glad I had today to hang out, relax, and I'm glad I'm getting to go home, hopefully, in the morning. Doing our last room check. The suitcase. scheduling didn't get me headed home can't believe I get to go home on a Saturday at 7 a.m. so I'm excited I have like the rest of the day but 
then of course I go on call tonight and then, so I work tomorrow. I feel like because I had this was such a good trip my a days might be a little crazy but I'm just thankful this was a great trip working an all-nighter was for sure not easy I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video because I'm headed home but thank you guys for watching if you liked my video please make sure to like it subscribe comment thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys soon and happy Saturday